Why, hello, all you creatures. It's me. This, this, this guy. Yep. Here with me today is Mangle. Hello. Now get out of here before I shoot somebody. This will probably happen pretty close. Happy Halloween! Uh, dude, it's like already Christmas. What the frig are you talking about? Christmas. Oh! And a happy new year. Well, now that he's out of the way, uh, allow me to get the bullet shell. Still got some juice in it. I'm gonna use it. Anyways, today I have decided uh, I to make a late Halloween video. I've already made a Foxy's Adventures Christmas special, so I thought, hey, why not do one of those stupid videos where I talk about crap in front of the camera? Except this time, it's gonna be a top 10 list. Now, here's my top 10 list. <coughs> Allow me to. Yeah. This is my top 10, my personal opinion. Doesn't mean everyone else has the same. If you do, cool. This is my top 10 cutest horror game enemies. Yep. Number 10, the Trigger Teddies from Dark Deception. First of all, why I think they're cute. I mean, it's just a bunch of teddy bears, ba they're teddy bear babies. I mean, what isn't there to love? I'll tell you what. Well, apparently, I'm not sure if this was like originally part of the game or not, but apparently the Trigger Teddies are supposed to have like dead things inside of them and they explode and they act like a bunch of chihuahuas number nine scp-173 from scp containment breach i do not think he's that cute if it is a he i don't know i'm not a look it's a it's a living statue that snaps people's necks if you don't look at it what else do you want me to say? Now, the cute part about it, I don't know, it just looks like a peanut. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's more funny, if anything. It's just a peanut with a Well, the original version looks like a peanut, because there are, like, other versions. I don't count those, because I go with the original. Okay, um, number eight, Sonic.exe from Sonic.exe. He's both scary and funny and cute. Number one, the reason why he's cute yeah, is just Sonic. Reason why he's creepy. I mean, he's like supernatural. He's like a demon. Do you think demons are cute? Well, you might. You might. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not judging. I mean, I live in a world full of monsters and demons. What, you think that everything's gotta be normal? No. Doesn't. What the frig is normal? What does that mean? I don't know. I, I got a gun and I, I shot a, a clone of me. What, you think that's normal? No. I'm not normal, are you? Hmm? Are you normal? If you are, get out of here. If you're not... Give you 10 seconds. Run. Ow. I just shot myself in the hand. What a... Yep. <coughs> Anyways, back to Sonic.mexi. Now, another reason why Sonic.exe is funny. You're supposed to take him seriously. I mean, in the first game, you kind of can, but the original Creepypasta makes absolutely no goddamn sense. You're like, scary game. I'm gonna die. Scary doll. I'm dead. <laughs> I 
I hate how in a lot of uh, video game creepypastas that are written badly, the person's like, oh my god, one of my favorite cartoon, one of my favorite characters died, I'm gonna kill myself now. <laughs> they say, oh, I'm so traumatized, I have to go to the mental facility. Are you freaking serious? It's just a video game, boy. Like, are you kidding me? Like... I don't feel depressed when I see Mario fall off of a ledge. I go, crap, I lost the game. Gotta start over again. I don't go, I gotta go to a mental facility now. I got crazy. Eh. See, some video game creepypastas are actually good, like Ben Drowned and stuff like that. Some of them are written badly, like Sonic.exe, in my opinion. Probably a lot of other people, too. Because I see people going like, bad. And then I look at it, like, I read it, and I'm like, bad. <laughs> I, I just can't wrap my head around it. But I'm basing this off of the game, not the story. Also, I think hedgehogs are cute. Because hedgehogs are hedgehogs. Although they, they're just weird. Anyways. The Goobles from Lost in Vivo. If you don't know what that game is, it's kind of like Silent Hill, but in a sewer. That's pretty much it. The Goobles are these weird warped mushroom flesh balls. Now, I don't personally think they themselves are cute, because thinking about those in real life is really disgusting. But their names make me laugh. Goobles? L l listen to me. Listen to me. Goobles. Goo freaking bulls. Goobles. I'm so. What? <laughs> what is this? Their names are Goobles. There are these creepy fungus monsters under the ground and they're called Goobles. Um. So. Honestly, I just think they're more funny. A lot of these creatures on my list have completely different reasons why they're on this list. Either it's because they're funny, kind of scary, or other reasons. It's just the name makes me laugh. I remember a cartoon character named Google, and he was a he was like a sad banana. <laughs> he's like a banana ghost, and he's always depressed. He's like. <laughs> um, then there's ho Shoot. I've never played this game, so I don't know if this is how you're supposed to say his name. Huggy Wuggy from, from Poppy's Playtime. Honestly, he's also both cute and scary. He, he looks like a creepy little Muppet. And then when he opens his mouth, it's a giant cavern of teeth. Yay! We're all gonna die! I, he's weird. Honestly, a lot of these are just weird picks. Since I couldn't think of anything for number six, I just decided, hey, why not have the creepy Muppet? Because you can't have a list without a creepy Muppet. Uh, at number five is the Owl Oni from Owl Oni. Once again, from the game, am I supposed to... I know sometimes he has, like, a threatening appearance, but, I mean, really... He's got a big old head and tiny little body, and he looks like this. I, I think he's funny, honestly. I should have made this a top ten funniest horror game monsters, but no, in my mind I thought, hey, wouldn't it be funny to make it different? Uh, yeah. Uh. I look in the darkness, like, my hair is just so dark that it's, like, blending in. I'm looking at my head shape right now. Hi. <laughs> It looked like that one image of the guy whose head was just like a thumbs up, but with his face over it. I find it funny. Alright, what's next? Uh, number four, Toy Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. When I was born, it was a long time ago, and then I finally heard, Hey, there's a game called Five Nights at Freddy's. I became obsessed with that game. Technically, I still am because some of my characters are literally from the game, but with their own personality traits and stuff. Um, so, 
Uh, there were a total of five games that came out the moment I heard about it. First game, second game, third game, fourth game, uh, Sister Location. Oh, no, six. It was those ones, Sister Location, and then finally there was Five Nights at Freddy's World. And now there are new ones. Um, now, when I first heard about the series, I only knew about the three, fir the third, the one, two, and three. And then I got four, five, and then eventually Five Nights at Freddy's World, and then a whole bunch of fan games, whole bunch of fan art, whole bunch of this, whole bunch of that. The fan art kind of helped me out with the ideas for these characters, because... It kind of gave them a personality I could go off from, even though a lot of it just is horrible. I made a I made a finite, I made a Foxy's Adventures episode where Foxy and Freddy react to cringe. Yeah, I did that. It's from season three. Watch it if you know this thing exists. I have ten subscribers, man. I need that to go up. Either that, or more people watch my videos and like them, that would be nice. But since no one knows I'm here, that's kind of sad. Um, but moving on, because we're supposed to be t This video has gone on long enough about me talking about random crap, because I ramble on about stuff like Phil Schnazzo. But, uh, the reason why I think Toy Bonnie's cute... For the longest time, all the time, people have been debating over these characters' genders. They're robots, you freaking idiot! Um, so why does it matter? I mean, with Freddy and Foxy, you kind of knew that they were boys, but with Bonnie, they're like, oh, I don't freaking know. And then with Mangle, they're like, I don't freaking know. And then with Chica, they're like, I. How can you not know that that's a girl? How do you not know Chica's a girl? Do you know what the, the, the name means? In Spanish, it literally means girl. You stupid, mate. Are you kid? Are you joking, mate? Are you really? But with some other animatronics, I can kind of figure- I can kind of understand why people are confused. Like, with Mangle, I mean, like, I- I- uh, and then with, um, with Toy Bonnie, sp some people are still confused, but some people know he's a, a guy, and they still... Oh, man. Um, but anyways, the reason why... I don't know, he just looks funny. He's like a, he's like a little Easter bunny with a... Look, I was never afraid of this guy. Only in the trailers, because when he opens his eyes like that, it creeps me out. Gives me, like, this epic tension. But when he's actually in the game, he's, like, cute. He looks... When he's when you're wearing the mask and he looks through it, he's like, Hey! Who's that? Huh? Who's that? Like, I, <laughs> I can't take that seriously, man. Look, I like the game. Some parts of it, yeah, they're creepy, man. Oof. But <laughs> Toy Bonnie, man, he's, he, he's so cute, man. He's so cute. Well, I guess I have a new character to put on my favorite characters list for Five Nights at Freddy's. My number one is Foxy, and my number two is Toy Bonnie. I'm number one. You're all the way back! My scoliosis back. Um. Then there's Specimen 1 from Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's a cute little horror game that kind of has the same style as, as Adventure Time. Kind of, where you're in this mansion with a ghost named Spooky. You get jump scared by a lot of demon stuff. And the specimens progressively get even creepier as the game goes on. Specimen 1 is cute, at first. It's this just a little cardboard that pops up at you, making a spooky noise. And it's like, it could be a ghost, it could be a piece of coffee. A piece of coffee. Yes. Yes, I want a piece of coffee. Oh my god. Or it could be uh, grapes. 
I think that I think that one was grapes, unless he was like a little lump, which makes it kind of weird. Then there's ones that are like, oh, a spider! He's a cute little spider. But as the game goes on, even he starts getting bad because then you got ones where the ghost one it has a face scratched out with like this creepy like face. And another one which is like this skull head with like flesh all over it. It's just they couldn't even keep that cute. They couldn't even keep uh, couldn't even couldn't even keep that cute. How do I mess that up so bad? Um. Then we got at number two the bubble-headed nurses from Silent Hill. Like I said, a lot of these are here for different reasons. Not gonna go. This cat's up here. Hell no. You're not doing this, cat. You're on the ground. You're not supposed to be on this. We have ground rules, cat. It's not being. It's not me being mean. This is the rules. That's like a. That's like a mom telling the kid, "Don't eat. Don't eat the cookies." And the kid's like, oh, you eat the cookies? Oh, yeah, I'll do that. And he keeps on doing it, despite the mom keep on saying him, stop eating the goddamn cookies. Stop. You know what? I'm putting you down, kid. <laughs> I'm putting you down, Timmy. No, mom. No. Okay, bye. Um. Well, would you look at that? Oh. And finally, at number one, actually, let me do some honorable mentions. Probably just two. Um, I don't know the, have, I don't know why, but I find the head crabs cute. I don't know why. And then there, it, I don't count Yume Nikki as being a horror game. But there is an enemy, not an enemy, but he's a character in the game. He's an easter egg, his name's Uboa. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about him at this point. And he's a spooky little ghosty boy. Kind, yeah. Okay, finally. The moment you've all been waiting for. Okay. At number one is Lust from the Binding of Isaac. Um, so... Why do I find this one cute? Well, it's this little pink dude, or girl, I don't know, with, like, bumps all over him, and he looks like he's bleeding. And it kind of looks like he's chasing after Isaac, like, hey, give me a hug. Come here. See, he's the only one of the monsters in the game that doesn't seem like he wants to eat you alive. So, yeah, that was my top ten list. This video better goddamn upload or else I'm gonna break the computer by shooting it with a gun.